Hey guys, I Pokemon I here. Today I'm going to show you a collection that I bought for about 500, 600 pounds. I say that much because shipping we halved it, so it's about 550 pounds. Uh, the collection is pretty cool. It has, it's got nothing high end. You say, you think to yourself, why is it so expensive if it's got, if it's got nothing high end? And the reason is, is because of the mats. There's some pretty cool mats. So, so I'll go through them first and then I'll show the deck boxes and then the binders. So we'll start. So we've got this uh, Ebon Illusion Magician mat. Blue Eyes Twin Burst mat. £550 is what you want to think of. Head is about $650-$700. An LLDS mat Hidden City. This is cool, sealed. Uh, the other LLDS mat, not sealed. We have this one. I asked for this one because it's one of my favourite mats. The Samurai 2011 mat. The Necros of Brian Ack and Trishula mat, Nationals 2015. This one, uh, the Phantom Knight Breaksword mat. And the Dante hey, mat. Uh, this is pretty cool, this is worth a killing, and this is one of the main reasons why I bought it, actually. So, let's go and show the cards. Ah, I don't know where to start, there's a lot of things to show, but we'll start now. So this is deck box one. Loads of random stuff. So there's Secret Galaxy Cyclones, Ultra Lore, it's Ultimate Duality there. Super Upstarts, cool. Super Dark Hole, Super Summoner Arts, a couple of Secret Painful Decisions, Pot of Riches, Rageki, Ultra Gold Sark, uh, e Tellies, some other random stuff. Um, Ultimaya. Ignis the Ultra Vulcan. Uh, what's this? Ultimate Goya, Ancient Sacred Wyvern, and Hyper Psychic Blaster. We have Michael, Leo, Natby, Stardusts. That's better. The glare isn't even horrendous, so let's do this. So, BLs, Ghost Starlight, Stardust, even a couple of Heralds, Ultra Spark, Super Spark, Got Ghost Delta Ross, Ultimate Big Eye, Phoenix, Ultimate Cowboy. This collection, by the way, is from Finland. You can pretty much see all of these cards, what they are. It's from Finland, you know, one of the biggest pluses is the two Ultimate Arcs. Biggest pluses of going to European YCS is you build contacts, you build friendships, and you build collections. Um, a couple of my friends from Europe and stuff, when they want to sell, or when they have cars to sell, they sometimes will usually go to me, let's say five times out of ten, so half the time. Ultra Utopia Lightnings. Secret Zen Mains. Norden, Thousand Eyes, Dinosta, and Barbaroid. There's one deck box done. Um, we have quite a lot left. I think six deck boxes to go. Um, uh, you know, I was I was going to get his uh, commons and stuff, but this shipping alone cost a hundred pounds, equivalent of a hundred. Was well, sorry, a hundred euros. Roughly around that. Got a random alien core type thing. So I just offered a price and he counted. I'm like, yeah, why not? He had commons, he had 20,000 commons, but he got rid of them in his own country because shipping stuff like that, it's, it's worth more. Um, the shipping is worth more than the actual bulk. So. That unfortunately is the sad truth. There's Super Venus here. 
and a earth. Um, oh, that wasn't even in a deck box. Okay, this is so disorganised. Next deck box. I don't know what's in here. Commons, I guess. Uh, some random perform power stuff. There's a nurse burn core mini core. Gift cards are nice, hot sellers. Common Mandrews, oh yes, very nice sellers. Ultra Planters, Ultimate Drop Offs, and some random. Look how curved these are. It's insane. <laughs> random Dragon Legend stuff. I've separated the absolutely unsellable stuff already because it's just a lot easier that way. This isn't the first time I'm going through the collection, only the second obviously, but uh, yeah. I don't know what was in here. Oh, sorry, it was. He used to play. Um, there was uh, an event we went to, one of the first events I might have met him at, and uh, he was playing um, Mecha Phantom Beasts, and he was doing really well in that um, tournament. I didn't want to get a deck profile, but I completely forgot. But I can't even remember the format it was in, so whatever his deck is, is, is it's here. I don't know if I'll keep it as a deck, it's not really worth anything to split it up, to be honest. Uh, it's a shame they gave up on the archetype, Mecha Phantom Beast, you know, Dracosac was broken. But as usual, the archetype boss monster is not used in the main archetype deck, like Minerva. You know, people don't, Minerva is a, um, it's not the boss monster, but it's like a generic monster, and people don't even use it in Light Swarms. I mean, they do use it in Light Swarms, but... Oh, let's shove up, shall we? <laughs> they don't use JD. So next we have... What do we have here? So Clifford, random Clifford stuff. They don't sell anymore. So I lose a turn. Now we got Noble Knights. This again is something they really messed up on. Noble Knights was such an expensive deck for no reason. And then they made everything platinum rare. And then everyone just gave up on the deck. Not because of the Platinum Rare, it's just, uh, you know, the secret majorts here. I think there's Ultimate, uh, sorry, not Ultimate and Platinum Merlins, of course. You know, that set was such a disappointment. This ordeal mat, it might be going, send me offers. Um, to be honest, if I'm desperate, I have someone I can sell the mats to, to make back the money instantly. Almost, I think, actually. Not even, maybe a hundred quid off. Sorry, this is a good deck box actually. This is one of my favourite deck boxes. So this has got obviously Medjolians, uh, Angelis, Hoot Cakes. My favourite stuff is coming up anyway. So it's Into the Void. Now there's loads of Hobby League Graceful charities. Because of Goat Format, these are actually quite relevant right now. They're nice, very consistent sellers. Fair enough, Hobby League isn't exactly a legal rarity, but goat format is not elite format. <laughs> no. People, tournaments and stuff allow, they have goat format tournaments and stuff, so uh, I don't think there's going to be a problem. Alright, what's in this tech box? Okay, Paleozoic, random stuff, nothing of relevance. I'll probably get rid of a core. Um, I've got a couple of totally awesome, I've got that in another collection, I'll, I'll show you soon. I'm going to try and show a collection every of every every other week. The only problem is I've had oh so there's four packs of Dark Illusions here. Um, I don't even know if they're sealed. I think this is the best deck box in there. It's the last picture he showed me, and that's what I based the value I think off. So ultimate ultra deck ghosts first head honests. Secret Eccentrics, nice, they're nice. What was I talking about? I'm on I don't know what I was talking about. What the heck? Oh, Ultra Into the Void again. Some foreign Sinister Shadow games. I can't remember what I was talking about. How ridiculous is that? Um. 
kind of want to go through the binders first. I'd like to open these packs. I'm not going to make a se separate pack opening video. Um, but I don't know. Do I open it now or later? What do I do? Let's open it now. Let's open it now. Screw it. I don't know if these were a mistake or what. But let's just see if I get any good stuff. So, Magician of Dark Illusion. You know what, I'm hoping that he doesn't <laughs> he put these in on purpose rather than by mistake. Uh, it's quite random. This isn't a pack opening, remember, I do not like doing pack openings. It's another super rare. Cool. Um, I think this, this camera angle is a bit, a bit high, a bit crap. But if it's not bad, let me know because I might use it for openings, just um, zoom in and stuff. Oh, sick! Haha! <laughs> That's awesome! It's like the money card of a set now. Desires is dropping really damn quick. And wow! Secret of Dark Magic Circle. Okay, well, let's hope that. I guess that I've got a Secret of Dark Magic Circle in the collection. Nice. Oh, wow. No, Shirinui Solitaire. Alright. So, I got. Four packs for free, and I've bought pretty insane. So, um, that is that. Now, let's go on to the binders. So, 550 pounds. Made back from about 25 from that, those dark magic random things. I don't know if I showed this deck box. I don't even remember. So, let's just show it anyway. No, I don't think I showed it. Oh, we did this. Ah, oh, balls. We did this, we did this. I am so sorry. I can't remember half the things I show on video because my memory is absolutely Okay, let's start with some binders. So, this is a small binder, obviously. Oh, gosh. So random, random stuff, absolutely random, some Venusaur Venus all there. There's multiples of literally, or, or, there's almost everything, multiples of a lot of things inside, behind the stuff, so it's easy money, very easy money, so you're honest. Easy and I'd have to sell everything to make the most out of the value. Including the mats. If I sell the mats, I will make a nice, healthy profit. If I don't, the mats will just, I'll just sit on the mats. I, I'm not really too fussed. I just wanted some of the cards. Um, there's an ultimate duality, which I think I showed already. And I like random high-end stuff. So, this is a random collection. If for some reason he was collecting Sky Blasters. So, uh, who am I to judge? I used to collect tall guys and fairy lilies, moons, stardust. Random stuff, you know? Fairy lily was the really random thing. But I mean, you're looking at this stuff, it's like, what, what kind of rubbish is this? This is all bulk, you know? This stuff wasn't valued, he just chucked it in, but I thought I'd show in case I pass a gem. I haven't actually seen any um, gems yet. I think, though, there are some in a couple of binders. Alright, I think that's alright. Okay, cool. The secret Zen Men's there. I remember when that card was 100 plus? Because I don't. It's a Super Crow, multiples of those in there. And a lot of this stuff will go in bulk hollows. And like a power shelf, we have a goat. Dragon Spirit of White, alright, an ultimate. This is a red, this is a decent gem actually. E Hero Chaos Neos, ultra rare. Ultimate Nodin, okay. Odin. Nodin, Odin. It's so Ultra Future Fusion, alright. And Side the Dark Edge. This was a gem, um, but then the thing came up. Gilgarth, okay, cool. You try friendship. This is a cool gem. Ultra trading. This is gem. 
Another Chaos Neos, nice. Okay, the Chaos Neos is a light 10 each. So it's a nice chunk of money back. Um, Super Morays. Or one, I think, probably. This is randomly sellable as well, thanks to Choo Choo Trains. Alright, got a couple binders left. If you're bored, put it off because the video doesn't get much better. Wow. So, you can see absolutely random. Random. Random is my middle name. This is the um, bulk. I'm going to go through it all, take out the hollows, organise, not even organise, just put it in a box under my bed. You know, it's all bulk hollows, I sell bulk hollows, 20p a card, it's actually quite good. Gets eBay feedback, this is the nice sellable card, so I'll put a power bonds. Solemn Judgment. Alright, cool. Cyber and Dragons. That is pretty nice. Um, I think these sell well. Uh, they did when I started selling them. I might be out of stock. Oh, nice. There's a lot of Cyber Ends. Okay, cool. So it's nice when you can list more than one. I like this card. The Wretched Ghost of the Attic. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Oh, I like the look of this binder. Classic card, nice. Classic binder. So we have Exiton Knight there. Graceful Charity, Future Fusion. Charge as Common Fishball on a pit. Oh, Rainbow. This is rele relatively relevant right now. <laughs> I forgot about that. Gaia, Retro Pack Super. Gold Avarice. This, mm. I guess. I was about to say Tree Toad, Super Spore, random other cards I don't know about. Um, no, nothing there. This is a far Japanese Uriah. If all the other lords are behind it, that would be incredible. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> that's, that's actually quite cool. There are loads of Uriahs, like English ones there, that's even better. Oh, this is so discoloured, I love it. Okay, well, that's something quite odd to get excited about, but... Yeah, um... Alright, so there are loads of cards behind that. Power filter, you know, that randomly relevant, irrelevant card. Ultra Macro Cosmos, Super Tenki. Kage Takage. Armital. This is, um, a gem. This is a gem. I know it wasn't valued when I got the binder, but it is a nice gem. I'll sell that, I can sell that with the Ultra Rare Beasts for about $80. So what I can get from with ease. But I just don't have any more Ultras, so I'll just have to start looking. Random. This is what is Commons. There's a random marshmallow up there. Uh, Dark on Bleh. Grenade Whirlwinds, I, they used to be consistent sellers, Ronin Totems never used to be, Swap Frogs are, were good, really cool sellers before, now not so much, Mask Change, nah. Hero Lives is, is a nice seller, uh, but I don't think there's any commons here. Hero Lives, if you guys have any, um, you should probably try and pick them up, or well, not if you don't, not if you have any obviously, because you would have already had them to pick up. But just see the price. So we have some slimy toads, rare fish, it's like a kappa, super beast, a levia there. Uh, shadow, no, not shadow mist, uh, Strat stratos, slimy toads. Ultimate Mobius, alright. Guaiba's secret tour guide, hey, we're talking about that. Super tour guide. Ultra Tengus, how many is there? Oh wow, alright, there's three Ultra Tengus there, that's beautiful. 
Rare fish again, nice. I like rare fish. Coach Bark, go <laughs> wolf bark even. Coach Bark. Dragoons. So as you can see, it's, it's a lot of random, really random, shiny stuff. And non-shiny stuff. Yeah, Falkings, they were relevant. It'd be nice if they were relevant again, because, you know, they can't kaiju over you, which is nice. Wait, I don't know if it says tribute someone or tributed. Harpies, fellow dust are up there. Barkeon, some Thousand Dragon, I think. It's Ultra Barkeon. Woof, woof. Force back. I don't know why. There's a couple of force backs there. And we are the last binder. I don't think the bind this last binder is the best one. It's just the one that I happen to finish on. The Green Collector's album. Oh, alright, cool. So some random spellbook stuff. It'd be nice if there was multiples behind them. Because I know they sell oh wow there is. Alright. Oh jeez. Okay, that that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So I'm only, I'm not going to check the um, secrets now, it's probably multiples, priestess, if this was a um, secret would be cool, this is secret, oh my gosh, nice, absolutely nice. Okay, super emptiness is, hmm, hmm, it's a blade armor. Luckily, the majority of the cards are in English. You get the odd occasional one which is not in English. However, that is not a problem. I'll just... Yeah, whatever it is. Mm, Wiseman Chalice. Some Super Decrees that I know there's multiples. And a complete McDonald's, McDonald's pack. I think there's a complete promo thing here. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's going to stay as a set if it goes anywhere. So, that is the collection. It's really nice to get two or four booster packs to pull. You know, Dark Magical Circle in First Ed. Looks so nice. And this you know it's just nice to get four free packs and pull those so yes that is the video i am my pokemon now hello total cost price was 550 pounds um if i sold all the mats at a bulk rate i'd probably get about 450 if i sold them over time i'd probably get 556 but the cars were pretty good um, I'm sure you agree. And this is a completely different kind of collection because there's not... There's like... How to say it? There's not many relevant cards, but at the same time, this is really where you can maximise. If you get the most value, as I've said hundreds of times, if you get the most value for the least relevant cards, you know, you could one... You, you can just... You know, this is this is irrelevant. I have I have quite a lot or not quite a lot of these, whatever, how many of this is this is irrelevant. And uh, you know, you look for them, you get them for free in collections, and you just make money from the absolute rubbish. That is the way to make money from the game. Thanks guys for watching. I Pokemon here, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I will be doing a lot more collection videos because I actually am getting a decent amount of collections this year as opposed to last year. More people are coming to me than ever before, which is a nice thing. So thanks guys for watching. I hope Pokemon here and I will see you guys later.